<laughs> hey guys, you want to hear something funny? I just got a text message from Aaron. It says, hey everybody, I either haven't replied to you or I told you I was over on text. Well, I can text now, so if you want to talk, go for it. <laughs> and I wrote him, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and he wrote back, do you have a cough? <laughs> and I wrote back, LOL, no, I have a dorky little brother that I love. <laughs> and he wrote back, love you too, bro, what's up? And I said, in Chicago at an event, you? So we'll see what he writes back. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, I'm in Chicago at an event. In Gernlagen? Yeah. Viral. Oh. Is that good? He's awesome. <laughs> uh, question? Yes. I was on your uh, lightsaber website and I saw that you were doing something yeah. awesome. Fantastic. Awesome. Okay. Amazing. Hands down. Thank Wonderful. you. With, um, leather and Obi-Wan, of course. Yeah. Who's your favorite? <laughs> Vader. <laughs> I mean, Vader's just a cool... Here. Oh. <laughs> just call him. <laughs> Save the money. Please, please. That wasn't from him, actually. Oh, oh wait. I just got another one. <laughs> My girlfriend Michelle just wrote and said, I'm texting with Jana, who's in the back row, telling her how much I hate her right now. <laughs> Aaron says, in my room playing games. Tell the fans I said hi and have fun. <laughs> the fans say hi. Wait a minute. <laughs> you remember? Did you see that online or something or what? The awe thing. You don't know about that, remember? Oh my gosh. Where was that? When was that? Story, story, story. Story, story, story. Hold on. The fans say hi, ellipsis, and you're ugly. He's going to see this on YouTube. Oh crap, you're videotaping. <laughs> a few weeks ago we were at IkiCon in Austin and Aaron and I, Aaron was there and we were on a panel and no matter what Aaron said, because he's just a cute kid, he's, he's really, he's thin, he's, he's grown like a bean sprout, he's tall like crazy now but he's very thin still, he's like 15. And, uh, and his voice is changing and everything. And, and, uh, but everything he said, the audience would go, Aww. <laughs> I mean everything. <laughs> so we started teasing him. <laughs> like he would say, um, like somebody would ask a question and Aaron would go, well, last week when I such and such, and I'd go, aww. <laughs> and we'd start hitting each other and stuff. <laughs> Okay, question. How did you connect with your characters as you played them like, emotionally? Well, um, actually, I mean, you know, connecting with the characters is just all part of being an actor. I mean, a lot of you guys I know have done some theater or are in theater. Uh, it's just, you know, it's, it's acting. You know, a lot of people say to me, I've heard before, did you cry when Nina died? Oh. No. <laughs> but the reason I didn't was because that was still early on in the series. I had not yet, you know what I mean? I had not yet invested myself and had not yet built that, that connection with the characters and the show. Um, so when Ed like falls to the ground when he finds Nina, and uh, and start sobbing at the end of that episode, that was just acting. I wasn't really crying. However, a few episodes later, when Ed almost gets killed by Barry the Chopper, at the end of that episode, when he's talking to, to Al about how they need to watch out, look out for each other because 
you know, they're not gods. They're just little humans who couldn't even save a little girl. Um, when, you know, that was actually the first episode where I really started, it started getting to me. And from that point on, <laughs> he says, yeah, yeah, I know, but you're old. <laughs> Old enough to snap you <laughs> into like a friggin' Twizzler. <laughs> What's better than a Twizzler? I just, something, something really skinny that you just Pocky. can pop. Pocky. 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 <laughs> Like a friggin' Pocky stick. No, like a friggin' stick of Pocky. That's <coughs> stick. Uh, I'm not a good texture at all. What is that phone that you were like speaking to it? I love that kid. Uh, yeah, um, connecting with characters, um, as I was saying earlier, you try to find something about the character that you identify with, even if it's a, even if it's a bad guy. I mean, usually bad guys have a lot of deeper inner motivations and struggles that causes them to be bad, and that's why a lot of actors love to play bad guys more than good guys, because often the bad guys are more complex. They're more, they got a lot of things going on, you know, inside that's caused them to act out what they're doing and behave the way they're behaving. Um, so, you know, you try to find something about the character that you identify with or that you, that you sympathize with or that you, you know, that you lock into. Some, sometimes it's just a quick little character. It's just some ten-line little soldier A, <laughs> if you will. Two soldier A! Exactly. Yeah. Um, in fact, I... Good, it's a good time to plug the CDs. <laughs> um, you guys, I know some of you, I'm, you kind of, most of you guys are probably um, were here yesterday. This is all I have left in CDs, um, and, but I would love for you guys to have them if you're interested. Um, all original music CDs, and I'll sign them for you, but um, one of the songs on this CD is called Soldier A. And it's a funny song that I wrote, and I actually recorded it with Chris Patton and... Jay Hickman, two great voice actors, came over to my house and we recorded this song. It's basically about all of the miscellaneous little one or two line characters that we all have to play from time to time that just, they say something and then they die. <laughs> oh no! Boom, they're gone. You know? Or yell and then you're killed. And you scream and then you die. So um, I've got those, and I, I would hate to take them home with me. I'd love for you guys to have them if you didn't get them yesterday. Um, questions? Yes, Mr. Capone? Need one? I do need one. You set me up, dog. That's what I'm talking about. Hi, Aaron. <laughs> this is for you, Aaron. Brother! <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I've done stuff where I'm like, I want this role so bad, and I'd let something rip, and I'd go, Oh God, please! If I have to do that for 15 episodes or whatever, yeah. <laughs> Viral. Viral is one of those. I didn't even audition for Viral. Matt Greenfield just called me and he goes, "Can't okay, want you to play his character in Gurnlog." I'm like, okay. He shows him to me, and we start messing around with what he wants him to sound like. And I start doing this kind of a, I mean, weird. <laughs> Don't ask me, because I'm, my voice is kind of, I need to save my voice for next week. I'm recording next week. So bear with me on that, please. I appreciate your kindness in that regard. But it's like, it's like an evil golem. Like, 